Okay, so. Oh, beautiful. There's a, yeah, there's a nice, nice new design here. All right, this car makes uh, weird shaky noises. Thanks. And it might be this guy. I don't know, let's see. We'll find out. I don't suppose we can get another click out of it. Yeah, we can get another click out of it. Okay. Now it's a chair. Why, why is there no alignment pin? I mean, could that be an issue? <sighs> Tell me I bought a car with a loose brake caliper. That's exactly what I did. I bought a car with a loose brake caliper. Oh, good lord. This pen
Well, let me go find a find a little something something for this, and then we can get that snug back in and uh, see if the annoying noises stop. Let's see. Yeah, I mean the boots. The boots are fine. I'm also going to clean that ring off, see if that makes the ABS light go out. Well, that just might do it. I'm a little concerned that the little pin's not here though. But I guess, in his defense, there's no threads for it. So, whatever. So be it. Let's see. There's that. These bushings are... Oh, they're... they're not cracked or anything, so they're probably okay. your home. There we go. We're going. I'll tighten this up and start recording again. Okay, so what happened here? Getting a bunch of clunking um, on moderate bumps from the front left. Only the front left. It goes away if you gently put the brake on while going over the bump. Okay, so I've decided to pop this open and I found that that top pin was not tightened at all, so it was completely backed out. Um, so the whole caliper was actually moving. It doesn't move anymore. Um, so, we gotta make sure that, uh, well, that's where the pin would go, right there, but there is no pin. This is, uh, line it up. And this is a 95, so when it comes to the, your typical uh, ABS and Trax issues, you know, where the module just fails, um, I guess that's not really an issue with these units. So I went ahead and just cleaned the ABS ring there, a little magnet thing. So I'm going to probably go over to the other side, spray that one as well, since I already cleaned the other ones on the back wheels uh, when I did the parking brakes. Um, and then we'll see if the ABS and tracks lights go out. Uh, I'm also going to go for a test drive and just make sure that the caliper noise goes away. Uh, these break, you know, the pads aren't moving or anything. So I'll probably stick it in the uh, description if everything's good. Okie dokie. We recording? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. So. I clean the ABS rings on both sides of the car with some electronics cleaner. I would have hit it with brake cleaner, but I'm all out. And so, after we drive a few miles, we're going to see if ABS and tracks go out. If they don't, then I'll probably try cleaning the rings more aggressively with a, with a toothbrush here. 
something like that. Squeak. No squeak. Once we get to 30, it's going to test ABS. Because normally you'd hear the buzzing sound. I don't know. Maybe I just... I won't bother with it for a few miles, and maybe it'll go away. Uh, I can probably clear them using the... What you call it? the OBD1 thing. Now, in its present form, this car is not very comfortable to drive. Uh, the suspension is like upgraded sport suspension the previous owner put in. So you run over a, an ant, and it's like you're getting kicked in the ass. Um, but boy, boy, is it great in those high-speed corners on my way to work. I'd say the sway bar links are probably also loosening up a bit. Probably chuck the IPD heavy duty ones in uh, since uh, the car will start getting more and more bust like as time goes on. And to anybody who knows how Volvo 850s are, uh, they know that uh, uh, these cars will, will eat sway bar end links uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then it ends up being part of your, your yearly maintenance. Right, so we actually need to find like a bumpy section of road with the windows down and then see if the uh, see if we can get some some rattling to happen. Road. Be wonderful. There's some 
speed bumps. Oh, that would have been great. Shit. Um, you know what? I'm gonna turn around. Turn around here at the. Come on, give me, give me rattles. I think I heard one. pretty awful. Yeah, that looks terrible. I think that bump back there would have made the noise before. Oh well, I guess I'll call it. I'll call it okay, since now I know that my caliper is not pivoting and sliding around on its own. Um, and then if it comes back, I guess I'll go in and... and there's no sail up there. Liar. Um, Alright, well, I'm gonna end it here then. Uh, I gotta get this footage off my GoPro and then get it, oh that's nice, uh, and then get it on the iPhone and then upload it to YouTube, so I'll stitch it all together, uh, since no one wants to, nobody wants to watch a, a tired old 850 driving around, so these 850s have really bad turbo lag, I mean, you know, sure, uh, you know, a lot of the T5s have left less horsepower, like my, my C30 has technically less horsepower. Um, but it's a hell of a lot more responsive. So it feels quicker, despite having 20 less peak horsepower. And I'm just going to turn around here. Alright, that'll be it. Here it is. No clangy clangs. There is a kitty over there. There we go. Alright, so I'd say the noise is fixed. So that's a happy ending to the video, except for those lights, but we'll, we'll tackle that eventually.